Hey guys and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys three of my favorite raw vegan curries. I'm using a Coco Jack to open up this coconut. This is from the CocoJack.com. Hashtag not sponsored but they should. So I'm going to throw in some coconut water and some coconut meat into a blender with other spices. The coconut here is the key to all of the three recipes. And we got some spices like red chili flakes, some coriander, some curry powder, some dates to make this sweeter, some cashews to make this even fattier. You can always stay away from the cashews or the coconut meat if you're trying to follow a low fat raw diet. And see those measuring cups in the back? Hint, you can always find the ingredients down below. Everything's ready now, so we're just gonna cut up some vegetables. I got some carrots, some green peas, some napa cabbage, some green onions, some broccoli, some cherry tomatoes, some kale, whatever you like to put on your curry, it's all good. And yes, you can cook all of my recipes. My recipes are designed to be cooked. And yes, they're not cold, we're not eating ice, chill. I'm also gonna throw in some zucchini noodles. I'm using one of these things called the spaghetti. You can use the sprawlizer, whatever you like. Everything's ready, let's assemble this. Throw in the sauce and boom. You got yourself a nice ass curry. First recipe completed, let's move on to the second recipe. For the second recipe, we're doing something more fancy. I'm using a foot processor to make some cauliflower rice. This is just a trick and pretend we're eating something that is not rice. It's a bit sad, but it tastes delicious. So we got some cauliflower, some Italian seasonings, some lime juice, and some salt. For the sauce, I'm sticking to coconut water. You can always go for coconut milk, almond milk, any kind of vegan friendly milks. We're gonna stick to the raw coconut water because it's just more crazy raw and that's the way we like it. I'm gonna throw in some spices. The ingredients are very similar to the last recipe. A couple of them changed like uh, dehydrated bell peppers and we got some sesame seeds instead of cashews. I like to keep it creamy because I like my curry to be hashtag creamy as fuck. And just to switch it up a little bit, I'm gonna be using a potato pillar. Well, it's sort of like a potato pillar. I got it from Bed Bath and Beyond, so it just makes zucchini or carrots or whatever vegetable into little strips. Everything's ready now. I'm gonna throw in some of my favorites: some lancinato kale, some bean sprouts, some orange bell pepper, a little bit of cherry tomatoes, some raw mushrooms. Yes, you can eat raw mushrooms. Just make sure you get the right mushrooms. You don't wanna be tripping on some mushrooms. I'm gonna add the sauce. Or maybe you do want to be tripping on some mushrooms. Anyway, the sauce, and then we're going to throw in some of the fake rice we got. Delicious. It's really good. Jokes aside, it's really good. This is the raw board, not that though. Top it off with some cilantro, and recipe two completed. Moving on, on to the third recipe. Same again, some coconut meat, some coconut water, a little bit of salt, pepper, curry powder, coriander, garlic this time. I'm going to throw in some Thai chili to make it spicier. And the key here, it's pistachio. We're making a pistachio curry. This is gonna taste really, really good. And don't forget to add your favorite veggies or whatever it's on your fridge, like some green beans, some cherry tomatoes, some orange bell peppers, some lancinato kale, or whatever's on sale. And last but not least, I'm using my baguette to sparalyze some zucchini noodles. You can always replace them with cucumber noodles or just regular rice noodles or pasta noodles or whatever you like using. I'm gonna throw in all the ingredients together. Oh, some bamboo shoots as well. And then we're gonna add the sauce and we got ourselves some pistachio curry. I knew I was forgetting something. Into a food processor, I'm gonna throw in some cauliflower, some curry powder, some lime juice, and we're gonna process this and make ourselves some fake ass rice. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipes, and I hope it's back tomorrow because I am done with the recipes. But don't forget to use my hashtag, WeLoveNeto, and I'll see you guys soon in another episode. Goodbye.